I will help you deliver justice to the one they call Algy and save the son of the brawn. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Disney stars who voice acted in animated movies. This is an opportunity for us to become more familiar with each other. How much more familiar can we get? We've already seen Garfield lick himself. And who is she? <laughs> Clearly a poser. The Redima does. I mean, who wouldn't want to be me? All right. Sounds ridiculous, but I mean, that's cool. For this list, we'll be looking at our favorite Disney Channel stars who also played cartoon characters in movies. Who's your favorite character on our list? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Mitchell Musso as DJ, Monster House. Mitchell Musso is definitely an honorable Disney Channel guy. He's earned the title. Wow, I think you're right. It's two years of my life I'll never get back. Of course, we all know him as Oliver Oaken on Hannah Montana, but you may have forgotten his other roles, like King Brady on Pair of Kings and Jeremy Johnson on Phineas and Ferb. Before he landed any of those parts, he played the main character DJ in one of our childhood go-to Halloween movies, Monster House. What is your problem? Uh, puberty. Yeah, I'm having lots and lots of puberty. Given that he was about 15 years old at the time of its release, Musou doesn't quite sound like Smoke and Oaken just yet. But he's a cutie either way. Some things never change. What happened to Nebocracker's house? It turned into a monster, so I blew it up. Trick or treat! Number 9. Dove Cameron as Ella, The Angry Birds Movie 2. Dove Cameron is another star who certainly made her mark on Disney. She's best known for starring as twins Liv and Maddie Rooney, yes, both of them, on Liv and Maddie, as well as Mal in the Descendants franchise. They say I'm trouble, they say I'm bad, they say I'm evil, and that makes me glad. She's also guest starred on Disney's Austin and Allie as yet another twin, though she played only one of them that time. She's also done quite a bit of voice work, including Gwen Stacy in the Marvel Rising franchise and in Ultimate Spider-Man, which aired on Disney XD. Miles, I found out who you were through some intense investigation. And when you disappeared, I couldn't just stand on the sidelines. The world needs a spider. Most notably, however, might be the Angry Birds sequel, where she voiced Ella. One could even say her voice acting passes with flying colors. Hey, Alex! How's the commute treating ya? Hey, I can't complain. That never stopped him before. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we made good time today. Number 8. Jake T. Austin as Fernando, the Rio franchise. Jake T. Austin has actually done quite a bit of voice work. It's a thin air, send this chair. <laughs> This doesn't seem right. Of course, you know him as Max from Wizards of Waverly Place, but you'll also be able to recognize his voice as Diego in some of the Dora the Explorer media, Jaime Reyes, or Blue Beetle in Justice League vs. Teen Titans and Teen Titans The Judas Contract, as well as Alex in the Emoji Movie. Hey, Addy, I was just wondering if you are... Tasty. What? Um... Delicious. <laughs> He's uh, sweet. Also in this catalog is Fernando from the Rio movies. He's an orphaned boy who first captures Blue and Jewel, but later joins the good fight and helps the owners get their bird back. That's pretty macossum, if you ask us. Yeah, it's in great condition. Whoa. Well, well, good condition. Number 7. Ashley Tisdale as the leader of the Blueberry Scouts, A Bug's Life. You know her as Diva Sharpe Evans, down-to-earth Maddie Fitzpatrick. You might even know her as high-strung Candace Flynn, but we're willing to bet you don't remember her role in A Bug's Life. Our Blue Bay Troop salutes you bugs for rescuing our smallest member, Princess Dot. She played the lead Blueberry Troop, who was also the only other Blueberry Scout to have speaking lines, aside from Dot. She would have been around 13 by the time the movie was released, so you'll be hard-pressed to recognize her voice, but just know it's her. She's also guest starred in other Disney cartoons like Kim Possible. A greet? <laughs> just came for more green. I've already spent yesterday's score. Oh, that whole foreign exchange thingy? So confusing. As if I'm a math magician. But her very best voice role is indisputably Candace on Phineas and Ferb where her character is always bugging out. Today, I am composed Candace, confident 
Cool and relaxed. Candace, <laughs> stop judging me! Number six, Raven Simone as Iridessa, the Disney Fairies franchise. While Tinkerbell is a, well, Tinker Fairy, Iridessa is a light fairy, which means she can create and manipulate light. What are you gonna do with that? I'm gonna take it to the mainland. So, pretty cool powers. But are they as cool as being able to see into the future? Raven Baxter might have her beat on this one. We wouldn't be doing Ms. Simone any justice if we didn't go through her other Disney roles, so here they are. We certainly all remember her in The Cheetah Girls, where she played Galleria. Kim Possible saw her as Kim's best friend Monique. She guest starred in Casey Undercover as Simone Devereaux and is currently featured on Disney's Big City Greens as Maria Media. And, of course, she recently reprised her most famous role in That's a Raven spin-off series, Raven's Home. If you got the best roommate in Chicago, let me hear you say whoop whoop. Number five, Zac Efron as Ted Wiggins, the Lorax. What team? If you said Wildcats, congratulations. You're now an honorary member of Ms. Mojo's Disney Channel fan club. I finally figured out, yeah, yeah. We all know Zac Efron as shy, sweet Troy Bolton from the musicalist of high schools, but what you may not know is that he's also the voice behind Thneedville's 12-year-old hero, Ted Wiggins. And I speak for the trees. And the fact is, things aren't perfect here in Thneedville. And they're only gonna get worse unless we do something about it! Ted Wiggins is pretty darn cool, there's no doubt. But Efron is also the voice of the Scooby Gang's snazziest member in Warner Brothers' Scoob. Efron does an amazing job as Fred, but we have a bone to pick with the animators. Just where is his ascot? Keep this up and we'll have to revoke the title of snazziest member. Oh boy, that's the serious face. We always get in trouble after that face. Number four, Miley Cyrus as Penny, Bolt. Hannah Montana isn't the only one living a double life. The animated puppy named Bolt is too. Okay, okay. Good job, buddy. Mission accomplished. By day, he's a regular dog. And also by day, he's a dog actor. Miley Cyrus does a fantastic job voicing his owner, Penny. When Bolt believes Penny's been kidnapped, he spends the whole movie trying to rescue her. I knew you'd come back. If Hannah Montana and Bolt share anything in common, it's their themes of friendship. Cute true friend. Till it's all right again, your true friend. It's just so sweet. Number three, Zendaya as Lola Bunny, Space Jam A New Legacy. Of course, Disney was never the same after iconic shows like Hannah Montana and Wizards of Waverly Place ended, but if Miley Cyrus and Selena Gomez had to pass the torch to anyone, boy are we glad it's Zendaya. From her beginnings on Shake It Up to later producing and starring as the main character in KC Undercover, Zendaya took Disney Channel by storm. I'm just a little girl. <laughs> It's no secret Zendaya has many talents, including acting, singing, dancing, and modeling, but apparently she can also voice act. Listen, I know it's been a while, but I'm kind of busy here. In Space Jam's new standalone sequel, you'll hear her as the iconic Lola Bunny. Can we get two double hand emojis for this casting? We couldn't be hoppier. Come on, get it together, guys. The Toon Squad doesn't give up at halftime. The Toon Squad doesn't give up ever. Number two, Demi Lovato as Smurfette, Smurfs The Lost Village. Camp Rock is the third highest viewed Disney Channel original movie ever, just behind, awkwardly enough, High School Musical 2 and Wizards of Waverly Place the movie. Oh, the power the Jonas Brothers wielded over our little preteen hearts. We tuned in for the Jonas Brothers, but we stayed for Demi Lovato. It didn't take long before they were thrust into another role, this time as Sunny from Sunny with a Chance. That's me! 
Hey! I guess dreams really do come true. In 2017, they voiced Smurfette in Smurfs The Lost Village, which certainly came as a little out of the blue. What a lovely surprise. Are you done crying in the woods? I've shed enough tears for those Smurfs. What's this? I'm done pretending to be something I'm not. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Selena Gomez as Mavis, the Hotel Transylvania franchise. Selena Gomez has been both a wizard and a vampire. Somebody give this woman a werewolf role. Apparently, Gomez has a knack for playing supernatural teenage girls with just a little bit of attitude. Or a lot in Alex Russo's case. Well, this has to pout for the 10 minute sale plus travel time, which shouldn't be a problem because my pout record is like four days. Both Alex and Mavis are rebellious and facetious at times, but Gomez always manages to bring a wonderful kind of warmth to them. Seriously, Dad. Dad? Yeah, I know, Dracula's daughter. Everyone freaks out at first. If you miss Alex, we can't promise we'll get to see her anytime soon. But you can catch Mavis in the upcoming fourth installment of the Hotel Transylvania movies. She was also recently featured in Doolittle as the voice of Betsy the Giraffe. So, not quite the werewolf role we were looking for, but it'll have to do. Or should we say, it'll have to do little. Speak for yourself! We're wanted in three forests! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.